When using your needle threader, we want to take and place our presser foot down. So up until this point for threading, we had the foot up so that as we sent the thread through the top of the machine, it would go into the tension. But by placing the foot down, it puts tension on the thread and makes it easier for us to get it into the needle threader. The second thing that we want to do is we want to have the needle at the highest position. And the easiest way of doing that is to simply step on the foot control, take one stitch, and let the machine place the needle at the highest position. Then we know that the needle is positioned optimally for using the needle threader. When using the needle threader, at this point our thread is going up and down vertically. The needle threader needs the thread to lay sideways. So when we pull the needle threader down, you'll see a prong on the left hand side and we want to hook the thread around that prong. That takes our thread from the vertical position and puts it into the sideways direction. Now we're going to continue to push on the threader until the threader comes directly up to the back of the needle. If your threader is like this, it won't work because the hook is not all the way through the eye of the needle. We're then going to take and place our thread in the slot that is just above the little metal prong above my um, right hand fingernail. We're going to place the thread into the slot, go all the way to the back, then raise up the thread slightly, and then pull the thread gently forward. What that does is that makes it certain that we're hooked up onto the hook. And probably the most important thing for the needle threader is once we have it on the hook and we start to release the threader, our hand should go towards the needle. If we hold on to the thread with a death grip on the front, then we, the needle threader cannot pull the thread through. Our last step is to simply grasp the loop that's in the back of the needle and pull it until the tail comes all the way through. You can then raise up your presser foot, tuck your thread under the foot, and we are now ready to stitch. And when we place our fabric underneath the foot, you'll find that that thread on the bobbin where we cut it on the cutter on the inside of the door, it will automatically be picked up. So we didn't have to fish that up through the plate. You start to stitch, and your stitching is now ready to go on your fabric.